it doesn't matter how old you get. Dating in your late 20s is so hard. It never hurts less. So, a little update. <sighs> in today's video, we'll delve into several intriguing cases. First, we'll discuss a woman who is frustrated because men are not approaching her. Then, we'll explore why some women find dating challenging in their 20s. Additionally, we'll examine the story of a woman who was rejected by a man because of her lack of physical activity. Finally, we'll hear from a woman who believes that she will not confess her feelings to a man until he expresses his feelings for her first. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell to support the channel. Let's dive in. Dating in your late 20s is so hard because I'm so content with being by myself and I'm so independent. I'm constantly taking myself out on dates. I'm doing all these things by myself that it's like, if I'm contemplating going on a date with you, it's not in competition with anybody else. You're in competition with me. It's like, would I rather spend time with you than spend time by myself? Because that's how much I love spending time by myself. And I think it's so hard because I also am somebody who like, treats myself so like if i'm going out on a date i'm going to an expensive dinner or i'm going to a baseball game or i'm going to like any kind of sporting event like a concert like i do all those things by myself and i feel like a lot of times when men ask me to go out with them like if i think that the date is too basic like i don't want to go and it has nothing to do with them but it's like if you're not even willing to put the extra effort on on the first date i already know we're not compatible because I am extra as fuck, and I am a woman of luxury. Woman of luxury indeed. Pathetic. Why won't dating seems hard for you? Drizzle drizzle, soft guy era. This woman is making things tough for her and other women out there. She has a sense of high standard and was expecting every man she met to have the same. That's okay, but you're scaring the hell out men and even potential ones. It's admirable to seek a partner who shares similar values and aspirations. But when you look too successful as a woman, you will intimidate men coming in your way. Sometimes, men might perceive assertiveness or confidence as chasing, when in reality, it's a woman simply expressing her standards and values. When it comes to dating, men often have their own set of concerns and considerations. The perception that a woman might be interested primarily in a man's financial status can sometimes create hesitation or uncertainty for men approaching her. Listen. Men may want to feel valued for more than just their financial capabilities. They seek genuine connections based on mutual respect, shared interests, and emotional compatibility. To the woman who shared her thoughts, consider highlighting the qualities you value most in a partner and approach dating with authenticity and openness. How does one seem approachable at a bar, at a brewery, really anywhere out in public in general? My friends were discussing this the other day because no one approached us. We were like, how can we seem like we were wanting to make friends? We were even like making jokes with the table beside us. Like we were having conversations. So it wasn't like we were just sour puss, whatever. We we're just looking at each other. How can we seem open, approachable? Like we weren't all huddled together. We were like opening up our table. We were opening up our lives, selling to have conversations with people, but none of us were approached. And well, there were like suitable guys there. None of them had rings on. Like we were checking, but literally no one approached us the entire night. Like, is it just an energy that you give off? Because I will give them one of my friends did feel like death after the night before. Possibly that was what was like keeping people from coming to talk to us. But also we were just like laughing, having a good time. And so like, how do you become approachable in public? How do you become approachable like at a bar? We even went to a bar after that. I have hot friends. And so I don't think that it's looks. So I just don't, we don't understand. And so I'm putting it out there like how, how can you seem approachable? Like, are there certain things that you can do to be like, hey, we want people to come talk to us. Hey, we want guys to come talk to us. Like, is there something you can do or is it just happenstance? Is it just chance? Well, let me know because I'm very curious. When men are in a bar or social setting, they might be focused on various factors beyond just having a good time. Men can have varying preferences and comfort levels when it comes to approaching someone new. It's possible that the men you encountered may have had different reasons for not initiating conversation and that have nothing to do with you personally. They could be respecting your space, shy, unsure of how to initiate a conversation with a group of women they don't know, 
or simply focused on enjoying their night out as they're not in the mindset to meet someone new. It's also worth noting that approaching someone new can be nerve-wracking for anyone, regardless of gender. Men may feel a similar pressure to make a good impression and may hesitate if they're unsure of the reception. Men often assess social cues and signals before approaching someone. They might be gauging interest or looking for specific nonverbal cues that signal openness to conversation. Now, let's address the idea of cracking jokes and engaging with men at a table as she just said. While it's great to have a fun and lively atmosphere, men might interpret this as simply enjoying friendly banter and not necessarily as an invitation for romantic interest. Men are not mind readers. Here's the thing. Not all men are comfortable approaching groups of women, especially if they're unsure about the dynamics or if there's a fear of rejection. If these women appear too expensive or classy, it might intimidate men who feel they don't measure up to their standards or social status. This will cause these men not to approach these women. Listen, dating and meeting new people can be a two-way street. Don't be afraid to make the first move or strike up a friendly chat. Young lady, let's shift the focus away from blaming men and instead focus on empowering yourself. Confidence, positive energy, and open body language can be attractive qualities that draw people towards you. I've been talking to the guy <clears throat> since early May, over two months, and um, we had a few dates, and I thought it went really well. We have everything in common. He texts me all day, every day. Uh, same shared values, same life goals, same interests, really good banter. And um, he told me that I was smart and funny, and, um, and he told me that I was beautiful, which is the first time it's ever happened in my whole life. And um, we went on a few dates, and, and then we were talking, and he just said he's really concerned that of my lack of physical activity and... Um, and I, I guess he's just, he's been trying to convince himself to find me attractive because I had such a good personality. And um, I told him that I didn't think that he should have to convince himself to find me attractive and that I'm happy with my body and it's okay if other people aren't. And it's really hard. I know it's the right thing, and I do believe that. It just is never easier when you're dating and you're, you're plus-sized. It never really gets easier. And I'm sharing this because I, of course, turned to my girlfriends, but I forgot for a minute that they're all very beautiful and thin, and they've never had guys on the internet or just in life to their face tell them that they were ugly before, and... Um, so I know that there's a lot of other people like me on TikTok because I've seen a lot of you and it's okay if it hurts and you're not alone. And I really hope that one day we can get beyond fat phobia and um, maybe I'll meet someone. I can understand how challenging and sensitive rejection can be, especially when it's tied to something as personal as physical appearance. It sounds like this woman experienced a rejection based on her perceived level of physical activity and weight. That must have been really tough for her, and my heart goes out to her. Rejection can hit hard, and when it's linked to something like body image, it can be even more hurtful. It's important to recognize that everyone has different preferences, but it's unfortunate that some people make judgments based solely on physical appearance, especially when it comes to health and fitness. It's important to remember that everyone's journey with their body and fitness is unique, and it doesn't define their worth as a person. Listen, what's most crucial here is how this woman feels about herself and her own well-being. Self-acceptance and self-care should always come first, regardless of others' opinions. Finding someone who appreciates and values you for who you are, inside and out, is what truly matters in a meaningful relationship. I encourage you to prioritize your own health and happiness above all else. Never let someone else's narrow perspective define your worth. You are deserving of love and respect just as you are. Problem is, I like him. I like him a lot. But am I going to tell him I like him 
until he tells me he likes me nah so we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna pretend that we don't like each other but the truth is i'm sitting here and i'm whipped i'm really whipped and i said i wasn't gonna catch feelings again but i caught feelings oh my gosh in many western societies there's a cultural norm around the concept of playing it cool or not being the first to reveal romantic interest this can stem from various factors like societal expectations dating norms or even personal experiences in the scenario described, the woman may be playing a playful game of pretend with the man, where they both withhold their feelings as a form of romantic tension. Firstly, it's not uncommon for people to feel nervous or unsure about revealing their feelings, especially when they're uncertain of the other person's emotions. However, playing games or pretending not to like someone can lead to misunderstandings and missed opportunities for genuine connection. Life is indeed too short to waste time on uncertainties and hidden emotions. If you genuinely like someone, why not take the initiative to express your feelings? It's okay to be vulnerable and share your emotions. Waiting for the other person to make a move can prolong the uncertainty and prevent the relationship from progressing. By waiting for the man to make the first move, some women may believe they're adhering to traditional gender roles or simply testing the man's level of interest and commitment. But underneath this playful facade, emotions may be running deep. The woman might indeed be whipped or strongly infatuated with the man, despite the outward appearance of nonchalance. The concept of pretending not to like each other while secretly having feelings is often a way to protect oneself from potential rejection or embarrassment. It's a delicate dance of testing the waters without fully committing. This why many women are single today because most men might see them as being unserious.